That's right, move those feet. Move those feet. Hit him with the body. Watch your guard, Max. Your guard. The Fighter is a short film about a boxer named Mac. And um, Mac is training for a big title fight. And if he wins this fight, he has the opportunity to move on out of his small town and into more of the professional world of boxing. So it's a huge opportunity for him. I don't have to tell you that this is a chance of a lifetime for this. I want you to win this fight and move out of this shithole of a town. I'm Patrick Quinn. I'm playing Roger in the film The Fighter. Roger happens to be the trainer. Somehow I've got to recognize him as much more than just a kid I'm coaching. He's a kid I've got to love. I've learned to love him because I've seen him grow as a boxer from the time he was a kid. You know you're like a son to me. Whatever this is, whatever you're going through, we can deal with it. Mac is, well, it's in the title, he's a fighter. You know, he's been through a lot in his life and he didn't let it break him. I don't need you anymore, Pops. <laughs> you need me, boy! And his biggest obstacle, the biggest villain in his life, is his father, who he's estranged from. Seems me, boy, you forgot where you came from. I love making people believe that they are seeing what I want them to see. If I'm playing a, 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 a sadistic, evil character, at the end of the performance, I want them to come up to me and tell me, I didn't like you very much. And I'll say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so lucky to work with such a talented cast for this. Um, we had Emmett Ferris playing Pops, who is such a vile character, and Emmett is such a sweet, friendly, approachable guy, so to see him tap into this really, really heinous character, it's just like, holy crap, man, this guy, this guy's in it. Listen to me, this is Yeah, working. yeah, yeah, that's so all you have been good for, running that wise cracking mouth of yours. And I feel the same way about JR's portrayal of Mac. Um, you know, Mac is really going through some stuff, and he's such a tough guy superficially, but he's actually a very deep, emotional guy who is very introspective and in touch with what he's feeling. You know, even though he's still haunted by his past, he's got the courage to, you know, face his fears head on. Pops has been haunting me all my life. It's about time I faced him like I faced any opponent. Gotta tough this one out. Put my gloves on and fight. And, you know, I find myself the same way. I don't run from, from challenges. I run towards them to overcome them. You know, that builds character and that builds strength, so the kind of guy he is. Let me drive with you. I'll stay in the car. I'll do anything you need, Mac. Just let me come with Reyna, you. Reyna, I've got to do this myself. This is my fight. I'm playing Morena, the main character's girlfriend, and I can relate to her a lot. She's very tough, and uh, she speaks her mind, so I like that a lot about her. I admire that about her, actually. You got a lot of fucking nerve leaving me out of this, Macaulay. I wrote this three years ago uh, when I was just starting out as a filmmaker um, and I made the mistake of jumping into a feature film. It was way too ambitious for having no money and, and really barely any crew. And basically I, I was really failing at achieving my vision and I felt so crushed by that because with my first film I had such an amazing experience, all the stars aligned, and then with this just nothing was working out and it, it was really soul crushing so I went to this little cafe uh, coffee shop the three fish cafe and I just went there and I just wrote and I had to give my character sort of an insurmountable obstacle because then I could have somebody share what felt like the impossible with me and that felt really good to have a character kind of have to overcome insurmountable odds so it, it was it, it was really cathartic honestly so this film goes way beyond the boxing rim, ring and turns into an extraordinary drama outside the ring, the like of which I have never seen before. Because there are turning points in this movie that will take your breath away. You really got to see this movie. It's called The Fighter. It's got some brilliant local talent. And you'll be upset if you miss it. Check out The Fighter this summer and see Mac confront the opponent of a lifetime. Stay tuned for updates. You don't want to miss it.
Take no bets.